And I'm back. It's time for some reviews. So just as I promised in my last video, that one was very short and concise. It was a wrap up letting you know what I read, what I was currently reading. Gave you some updates on my challenges. Some I'm doing great on, others not so much. So this is going to be my actual review video. I read a lot in the month of April, so this is going to be a little long. I'm also going to do something a little bit different by starting with the last book I read and going back through the month. So let's uh, go ahead and move some things around, get to my Goodreads page. I want to start with After the Rain. Visually, this book is on point. Um, I read a digital copy, but I'm now and but now I aim to acquire a print edition to have on display in my home. There were a few times when I felt the images outshined the text, times when the words and images were conveying the same thing and the words weren't needed. <clears throat> Overall, I was very impressed with the presentation of this story, having no previous knowledge of the Nigerian mythology behind it. I felt I learned a lot, and yet I haven't learned enough. I feel like the book left me with too many unanswered questions. Some of the meaning of the story may have also been lost in translation, though <laughs> I might be overthinking things. Seeing the boy wanting to help him and touching him with her hands had more significance to me once reaching the end. After her transformation, for lack of a better word, um, and discovering the origins of her choice to become a cop, the hands have so much more meaning. Yet, I still feel like there was something else I was supposed to get, something that wasn't clearly explained. Based on the way the story ends, I hope there will be more. Perhaps all is meant to be revealed in later installments of this hopefully hero's origin. Um, I would totally be all be all in following this character for a limited or long-term series. Um, this was a deep read. <laughs> of course, I put read. I'll have to correct that. <laughs> Not to be taken lightly. Recommended to graphic novel readers, those interested in African mythology and culturally diverse origins. So I really enjoyed this book. Um, I think it did leave a lot of questions open, but sometimes having questions is what really kind of pulls you in and makes you interested. So I will have to go in and make that correction later. But let's move on to the next review. And as you can see, this was a four-star review. All right, the next thing is Deep Point of View, Busy Writer's Guide number nine. This is a five-star review. Okay. I am so happy my book club, the Insecure Writer Support Group, decided to read this book. I've read other books about deep POV before, but none of them really sold me on the concept that this was a technique to be used all the time or for any book. The author explains in great detail the ways in which deep, <laughs> deep POV is the best use and lets the reader know that for certain things you can't use deep POV, and that's okay. I've read other helpful writings before, but this I've read other helpful writing books before, but this one succeeded in a way most others have let me down. It gives so much relevant examples of what to do and what not to do. The author didn't waste the reader's time explaining concepts not related to the book's topic, but formatted the book in a way that allowed the reader to visit an appendix to gain more insight if desired. I wish more how-to books were written this way. I like that the author took time to confirm or debunk many myths about this method, which I found very helpful. Much of what she discussed is the main reason I haven't worked in this POV more. I can't wait to read more from this author. Seriously, I just downloaded two more ebooks. Highly recommend to aspiring writers and published authors at any level seeking to develop new skills or hone their writing. I, yes, I really enjoyed this book. And like I said, I've read other books on Deep PLB before, but none of them really sold me. This one did. It totally worked the five stars. All right, Blank Space, a story in concrete poetry for striving writers. I really like this book. I 
I'm glad I have a copy to look back on whenever contemplating the joy of reading. I think this is a wonderful adult children's book, but not sure how great it is simply as a children's book. The description clearly lists this book as a high-low book for intermediate readers, which makes me feel a bit better about my apprehensions. Clearly, there are youth readers at many levels, and I don't want to diminish or discount the intellect or comprehension abilities of young readers. Still, I know adults who would have a who would have a difficult time grasping the meaning and significance of this book. Overall, I say this book is genius and a bit daring. Maybe it's not for everyone or the average, but those who get it will definitely appreciate it. The book is a triumph for striving intermediate young readers and adults who truly love books and reading. Recommended. So yeah, this book, um, it's just, it's not what I was expecting. I really liked it. I just don't know, again, how well it would be for like, as, as as an actual children's like picture book because it's not really a picture book but um if you're in like a reading program i could see how this being beneficial in that particular setting um i don't know that this is a book a kid would pick up on a on a bookshelf because they thought it looked like an interesting read still i think it's great let's see what's next disaster curse disaster crying 5.5 this was um a short um, I enjoyed this short follow-up to A Fighting Chance and won't even complain about it being too short. I just always seem to want more of these characters than the author gives me, but I'm pretty sure she has to eat and sleep at some point. I like how the title plays perfectly into this story and how the characters near the end have one of those What a Small World experiences, tying it all together into the overall series. A lovely short installment to this wonderful series. I also read The Crime Before the Storm, an exclusive the author released to her newsletter and recommend it to anyone following the series. Highly recommend it to series fans and adult readers of crime thrillers and romantic suspense. So yeah, this one was short, um, but very worth it, especially if you've been following the series. And the last book was A Fighting Chance, kind of a spinoff, and this is a follow-up to that. So I, yeah, I thought it was enjoyable. No major complaints. <laughs> All right, loading, 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 loading. <laughs> All right, Teen Titans Beast Boy. Four stars. This book is interesting in that it is the follow-up in a series, which is usually a sequel, but it's also a standalone. It's another new take on a classic DC character's origin story. I really enjoyed reading it and found it humorous. Much like the first book, the color scheme and art really helps set the tone and capture the emotion that isn't always felt in the short text of comic books and graphic novels. I appreciate the value I appreciate the value the illustrations gave give to this story. As much as I adore um, the Beast Boy character, the secondary characters in this book were more interesting. I think that it, I think that's why I didn't give it a higher rating. I enjoyed everything I read, but felt like the main character should have been the most interesting. Still, I'm not complaining. I really liked that Garfield had some great friends. I like reading YA that isn't filled with toxic relationships. The end, the, the end scenes bridging book one and book two were cute. I guess I'm locked into reading Beast Boy Loves Raven next. I think I stated this with the last book, but if you don't think too hard about things and try something a little new and different with an open mind, you may just enjoy this. Highly recommended to fans of YA science fiction stories and DC comics. So yeah. This was this one was good. I liked it. I'm um, not a huge YA reader, but I've always enjoyed the Teen Titans, and this book was a fun read. Okie dokie. Let's see what's next. A Carol of Ghosts, a ghostly Christmas novella. So this um, installment uh, is number six in a series that I've been reading, and this is kind of a Christmas Carol type story based in the world um, of the Ghost Rider series. So five. this one is a four star. So I read this in one sitting. I went through it so quickly I forgot I even read it, but I did not forget what I read. 
I really enjoyed this book. Even though Jackson was the star of this installment, Kate was always there and they feel stronger as a couple. We also get to learn more about a beloved supporting character. The only reason I didn't give it a higher rating was for two major reasons. And here we go. Number one, I want to say I hate, but hate is a strong word, but I really don't like cliffhangers. This book started where one cliffhanger ends and almost feels like it ends with a cliffhanger. I'm not really sure how to describe the ending of this installment. Some may not consider it a cliffhanger, but it was close to me. Um, number two, I have so many questions, so, so many questions. I need the next book to be out like now, but that's not entirely my issue. There were so many ideals, plot points, and or themes introduced in this installment, which I hope will be explored later on. Maybe there will even be a spin-off, hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> but um, I feel like that was the whole purpose of this book, to serve as a preview of possible stories, plots, characters, and settings to come. It felt like a long preview. A long preview I thoroughly enjoyed. Can't wait for more. Highly recommend it to fans of horror, complex paranormal situations, diverse characters, and smart dark fiction. So yeah, I, this was, this was again, this was a fun read. Um, I just kind of felt like it was just leading to a lot of stuff, kind of like teasing you a lot. I don't like to be teased, but if you like to be teased, definitely read this. And even for me, someone who doesn't like to be teased, I still really enjoyed this book. I'm a fan of the series. So yeah, definitely if you're reading the series, check it out. And the last one. So the High Mountains of Portugal. I am not going to read this whole review. Um, it is a two-star review. I did not enjoy the book. I did not enjoy writing the review. I'm just going to hit some my major points. Um, as I do some scrolling, you will see that it's a long review. Um, so let's see, it says, Life of Pi, this book is not. I really did not know what to expect with this book, but what I got, I could not have imagined. There were parts of the book that were clearly interesting. However, being interesting does not equate to being enjoyable. I can't decide if the author was going through an existential crisis and was trying to figure out whether or not he believed in what he was writing or if he was just trying to fool himself into believing it. We're going to scroll down because this is a very long review. There's some religious stuff in here, some racial stuff in here, just things that just did not sit well with me. And my closing remarks are, I will not be recommending this book to anyone and have nothing against anyone who reads this and likes it. They are not me, and I am not them. So my review goes into a little bit more depth, but if you read this book and you like it, I'm perfectly fine with that. I just didn't like it, and um, kind of, just disappointed is my overall impression of this book but you are entitled to have a different impression so um i always keep links to where i have my reviews posted in the comments below if you want to check out that review and see exactly what i wrote you can do that but i'm not one to just spread negativity so again i didn't enjoy it but that's that is what it is that's everything that i read in april it was a lot um i don't even know when i read all that stuff but i did <laughs> So that is my wrap up um, for April and was the previous video I did and this is the review. So let me know what you thought about anything that I read. Let me know what you're reading. Make a recommendation. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. Be blessed.